The Lewis Glucksman Gallery in Cork is the setting for a new exhibition of work by the artist Joseph Albers. Born in 1888, Albers was raised a Catholic and this hugely influenced his work and his outlook. The works met up with exhibition director and friend of Albers, Nicholas Fox Weber. Joseph Albers was deeply interested in the quality of pure color to exhilarate us, to take us away from life's problems, uh, to provide an emotional balm to the soul. He was someone who had survived great poverty, um, who with his wife Annie fled Nazi Germany, who had experienced two world wars, and he saw color as a source of balance and celebration and a link to what was universal. When asked about the early influences on his life, Joseph would say, I came from Adam and my father, that's all. His father was a house painter, a man of very um, limited financial means, and the first task that Joseph had as a child was to paint grave markers uh, in the local cemetery. The cruciform shape began to enchant him. In 1918, he did a church window uh, for the Catholic Church in his hometown in Batrop. It was destroyed during the Second World War, but we've had it reconstructed for this exhibition. Stained glass, going back to the Middle Ages, had a very important symbolic value. The way that light passes through glass without breaking it uh, has been equated with the conception of Jesus. And he found color to be triumphant, uplifting, and a source of celebration. Joseph lived incredibly simply. Uh, his bedroom had nothing on the walls, nothing whatsoever. Um, neither did the kitchen. I remember arriving at his house one day and Annie asked us to come into the kitchen for coffee and strudel. He loved traditional German apple strudel. And he said he was terribly upset. There had been an interview with the artist Robert Motherwell. And the interviewer had asked Motherwell what he achieved in his art. And Motherwell had replied, eternity. And Joseph looked at me and said, not even Michelangelo, not even Leonardo, not even Piero della Francesca would say he had achieved eternity. He jumped up and he took from the windowsill a small hand-painted Mexican ceramic bird. And he said, you see this bird, this has more of eternity than Motherwell's work. When he was 62 years old, he started a series of painting which he called the Homages to the Square. They show squares nested within each other in a very specific form. If you look at them proportionately, you'll see that they are not concentric squares, but rather that they are weighted toward the bottom. He called these paintings platters to serve color. What Joseph has to tell us is that if we remain humble, we get closer to what is miraculous and unexpected in human existence. <laughs>